Guess what? Boats have received a major buff in the latest Minecraft update. They are now more useful than ever. Forget about the crafter. What you need at the start of your new world is a boat. I'm Tippy Blether and today I'm bringing you 8 amazing boat hacks from Minecraft 121. I promise you this will make your Minecraft life safer and easier. Stick around till the end because the last hack fixes a transport problem that has caused no end of bother over the years. First up, let's talk about boat basics. Boats are cheap, easy and fast for early game travel. You only need 5 planks of wood. And you know what? You don't even generate hunger when you're using a boat. This is absolutely perfect for long journeys before you get your elytra. Tip number two, boats move super fast on ice. Oh dear, oh dear, I hope this is fast enough. And because it's so fast, a lot of people like to create ice boat tracks on the nether roof for fast travel. And ice boat mini games are always super fun. Number three is the chest boat. Chest boats are a relatively recent addition. This handy little beauty gives you instantly more inventory space. Perfect for exploring and adventures far and wide. And number four brings me to a brand new feature. This one is really cool. Did you know you can now tow boats with leads? And you can also pull several boats at once. You can even pull them over land. And you can tow them uphill. I've made a whole video about vertical boat travel, so go check it out. But finish this one first, okay? Tip number five. Moving mobs can be a complete hassle, but boats make it so easy. Just pop them in and off you go. You can both row in the same boat or you can tow your mobs behind you in a second boat. But a quick word of warning. Not all mobs are good passengers. Ouch! Yeah, and some mobs just don't fit into boats. They're too big. Yep, definitely too big. Not going in. But I'm making a video about that right now. So if you want to find out which mobs don't fit into boats and which mobs you shouldn't put into boats, then hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss the next video. Tip number six. Did you know boats can keep you safe from all sorts of stuff? For instance, fall damage. Normally, you don't take fall damage in a boat. So boats are perfect for cave adventures. See? Perfectly safe landing, but I'm not so sure about those mobs. I think they might do me some damage. Boats are also super useful in the nether when you want to move down a few levels. But be careful, accidents can happen and make sure you don't end up in a lava lake. Ouch! And number seven is the reason why I never go to a scary place without my trusty boat in my hotbar. I'm no fighter and this guy here wants to eat my face. So I put down a boat and ploink, he's trapped. And now I can whack him with my sword at leisure. This is maybe not the most heroic method, but I'm alive and that's what counts, right? And while we're here, boats are actually quite useful against vexes too. And they work against endermen. So remember, take your boat. But before you deploy your self-defense boat, make sure you know which mobs fit into boats. Because this guy, for instance, doesn't. Oh dear, run! And finally, here's the game changer I promised you from the 121 update. Do you remember how awkward it was trying to get mobs through this swirly purple gate of gorgeousness? It was so frustrating! Leads broke and if you were on a boat, the portal simply wouldn't work. But the tricky Trials update has made traveling through portals with mobs so much easier. Now you can just put your mob in a boat and row straight through. Easy peasy! Isn't that amazing? I'm so glad they finally fixed that. Especially since we now have much more reason to travel all over the place. So, I hope with these 8 boat hacks, your Minecraft life will be easier and safer. And if you want to know why I can row about in a boat all at my ease with a pillager as a passenger and not get attacked, check out my next video. Until then, have a hippy dippy day. Bye bye!